Hey Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch a Weekly Wednesday. I'm Beth Olson, part of the Stamping Jill Creative team, and I'm excited to share with you some fun holiday projects today. When I first looked through the holiday catalog, I was drawn to the Night Before Christmas suite. The colors in this suite really spoke to me. Uh, they're kind of different than your traditional Christmas colors, but I really liked it. They're kind of funky and eclectic, and I really I think that's really fun. Um, one thing that I've loved that Stampin' Up! has had the last couple of years are memories and more card packs. In these card packs, there are 54 double-sided cards, and they come in two different sizes. There's the 4x6 size and the 3x4 size. And they're double-sided, so they've got designs on each side. Really cute and fun that coordinate with each other and you get so many of them. If you do pocket scrapbooking, this is great because you can just drop them into your cute pockets. But we've really enjoyed making these into cards. They make quick, simple, easy cards. And who doesn't love that, especially around the holidays? Another thing I love about these cards is they're really flat, so to mail them, it's not a big deal. You can pop it in the mail and you don't have to pay the extra postage. They also came out with these cards that coordinate that have this cute star design around and these envelopes they're really nice and thick and they've got that cute design all the way around so let me show you what I've done with this suite I started by making some cards I took the smaller cards the three by four and what's so fun about that is the card has a little frame of those stars around it so you can just pop it right on there and I thought it was really fun. I also used this ribbon from the same suite. It's Cherry Cobbler and it's got this cute diagonal stripe on it. It's kind of a nice weight and it ties really well and it's got that cool contrast with the white. I use that a lot. I also use just some of our regular linen thread. Um, I like the natural color with the Cherry Cobbler. I feel like that complements it really well. So I started with this one. This is just a little, oh, I forgot to tell you the sticker sheets that come with the memories and more. You get six of these, so you have a lot to work with with your card and your creations. And they're cute, they have different things, little tags and little stars and candy canes and cute little postage stamps, and I thought they were really fun to work with. I like, instead of making it totally flat, it's fun to pop up a little bit with dimensionals. So I feel like if you're gonna be making cards and tags with these things, dimensionals are key. Make sure you've got your stamp and dimensionals. So there's my first one. Here's another one, and this is just one of the 4x6 cards on the back here, layered with one of the 3x4 cards, and they just coordinate so well, and they're really cute. I thought this one was fun. Here's a sticker from the sticker sheets. It says, Have a Holly Jolly Christmas, and I added in some of the blue stars to work and bring that in, but isn't that Santa? He's just so happy. He's so cute. Here's another. It was a little different for me to coordinate the real red with the cherry cobbler colors, but I like it. It's just different and flowed and felt really fun. So there's that one. This is cute, super simple. Have a holly jolly Christmas. And I think this one was my favorite because green's my favorite color. Warmest wishes and those stars around are just so cute and it's just so simple. It was really quick to make these cards. They coordinate really cute with the envelope. So when you're ready to send it, you just pop it in the mail and there you go. I wanted to do something more with this because I thought that these were so cute. And I'm always looking for a cute way, a way to make your gift even cuter. And I think tags are the way to go with that. These little three by four cards, they're so cute. On one side, most of them have a saying or like a sentiment. And on the other side, it's a little bit more of a monochromatic pattern that you can use in when you're creating your cards. So I started with the sayings, and I just added some of these little strips of the monochromatic paper from the other side. So we believe in Santa. I used this really cute ribbon. I thought that would tie on really well. And I put a piece of Whisper White cardstock on the back so you can write your message on the back there of to from or if you want to write a little note and just tie it onto something. I thought that was cute. Here's another one I used the tag from the kit and just popped it up with dimensionals so that it gave it a little bit more dimension. Happy everything, merry always. Cute saying. And you can just write on the back. This one looked like a letter to me, so I put a little postage stamp there. 
And instead of to from, it says to love. Super cute. I liked this one. I popped up these little stickers, these adhesives here, um, but they're the same print as what's on the card. So it kind of worked out really cute. So when I got here to film, I was showing Jill the things that I had created and she said, Beth, that is the perfect size for a gift card. And she was right. I went ahead and put a little strip of paper on the back here and I slid a little gift card in there and that is the perfect size. And something fun that they've always done for our family, Dan and Jill, is if they give gift cards, they'll stick them in the Christmas tree with your name on it and it's always in a cute little box or something. And so what a fun idea just to stick it here with a cute little sentiment on it and then your gift card in the back. So it's not a full card, it's just an easy quick little thing you can do. So let me show you how I did that. I'll show you on this one. It's really simple. I already had put the Whisper White on the back of this, so I cut a little piece. This one I cut just to be about one and a half inches wide and a little bit smaller than the actual card because I didn't want it to hang over the edge. With gift cards, you don't want to adhere the whole thing around because you want the gift card to slide in there well. So glue dots work really well for this. I'll just put them on the edges of my piece here and then I'll put them all along the bottom. Just a couple so that that little gift card won't slide through. Then you just set it down on here, push it down well, take your gift card, slide it right in. And it keeps it nice and tight and it's not going anywhere. And then it's nice and secure. You can put that on your Christmas tree or slide it into someone's stocking or even just take it to their door and say Merry Christmas. Quick, easy card. And in that kit for $11, you get 54 of these cards. So you can make your neighbor gifts. You could make gifts for teachers or for friends. Nice, quick, and easy. That's my goal when it comes to the holidays. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I really like this suite of products in the holiday catalog, and I hope that you will too. If you have questions, please let us know. You can find us at stampingjill.com, um, and you can also place an order there if you want to order any of these products. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week for another Watch a Weekly Wednesday. Bye.